You're tuned into the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel to watch another one of the nation's best announces college football decision. I'm Steve Wiltfong, and today we have Daytona Beach, Florida, mainland five-star defensive lineman LJ McCray, 24-7 Sports, number two ranked defensive lineman, the number six prospect overall. McCray is deciding between Auburn, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, and Miami. The six foot six, 260 pound McCray is an instant impact prospect on the next level, having a fantastic senior season to date, leading Mainland to an undefeated mark halfway through the campaign. He's disrupted from all over the field, and he's also an impact player on offense. Easy to see why LJ is so coveted, and now we get to find out where he's going to be playing his college football. So let's go down to the Sunshine State and bring in five star LJ McCray. LJ, how are you? Congratulations. I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Not doing as well as you. Please introduce <laughs> us to who you're sitting by there and the impact that they've had on your process. Um, this is my mom right here. My sister is right here. And my pops is right here. Gotcha. And is there a, a good group uh, behind you watching, ready to take in this excitement? Oh, yeah. Good deal. Well, we look forward to hearing a big cheer when you announce the school you're going to. But first, let's talk about your process. You narrowed it down to these five programs. What were the important factors you were looking for in a college football program? Um, really where I felt the most comfortable and where I could be myself and succeed and do what I want to do, achieve my dream. When were you able to get it from five to one? Um, really this morning. I've been praying about it for like the last two weeks and just thinking in and self-reflecting. So really this morning, uh, it was locked in for sure. Well, the floor is yours to let everybody know where you'll be playing your college football. <laughs> Hello? Hello? All right. First, I would like to thank God for blessing me for these, with these abilities, opportunities to surround me with great people. I would like to give a thanks to my mom, dad, and my sister for going through this process with me and always being there. Thank you for every coach and every trainer that has helped me become who I am today. Lastly, I would like to thank all the universities that have been relentlessly recruiting me for the past few months. With that being said, I will be choosing University of Florida. <laughs> Five-star defensive lineman L.J. McCray commits to Florida, adding to the Gators' number three ranked recruiting class on 24-7 Sports. L.J., talk about what it was that put the Gators over the top for you. What, can you repeat, please? Yeah, just tell us what it was about the Gators that put them over the top. Um, Really, I just felt the most com comfortable there, and me and Coach Napier had many talks of things that can get done and achieved, so I feel like that's the best place for me. LJ, when I first talked to you, your dad kind of told a story about how you camped in Gainesville in middle school and you guys were walking from the facility over to the stadium to work out. And you looked at your dad and you said, I can do this. And you're like, he was like, do what? And you're like, play major college football. And he who played at Bethune-Cookman, coached high school ball, coached college ball, said it's going to take a lot of work. You said, I'm ready to be on the Gainesville campus to this moment now, knowing you're going to play your college football inside the swamp. Put all that into perspective. Um, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, I'm, I'm super blessed to be in this position. I mean, it took a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of great people around me to push me where I am today. But uh, I felt that, that, I mean, I always want to go there since I was a little star. This is a dream come true. You told me this morning there's no limit to what Florida can do as a program. What catches your eye most about Coach Napier and what they're trying to build? Um, they're definitely building things. You could just tell that by how hard the guys there, that's already there, you know, the past class are playing. And the, and the class is coming in right now. You can definitely tell that they have something going. When you talk about Coach Armstrong, Coach Spencer, and, and the rest of the staff, just your vibe with them and what stood out about those guys? Uh, I mean, I definitely feel comfortable. I mean, I feel like I could call them and talk to them about anything, and especially football. Those guys know it for sure. 
And then the last thing you talked about, Florida, was joining a building program, one with a great recruiting class, just some of the guys you've clicked with already that's going to be playing at Florida with you. And then who else are you working on to get to join you? Um, well, I, I don't know who I'm, who's the first guy I'm going to be recruiting, but uh, I know those guys, I, everybody in the class I'm sure I've talked to once or twice, but for sure DJ Lagway, I mean, he's been calling my phone, texting me, and, and so is the, uh, Xavier. I mean, all of them have been blowing up the phone all week, so I definitely those are my guys for sure. Well, congratulations to you on your commitment to Florida. Big pickup for Billy Napier and the staff. Enjoy the rest of your day. We are going to bring in 24-7 Sports Director of Scouting, Andrew Ivins, for more on this major pickup for the Gators. Andrew, you've seen hey. LJ play this fall. What do you love about him and this pickup for, the, for Florida? Well, I think he is just now starting to figure things out, right? And LJ McCray, we talk about the measurables, six foot six with a six nine wingspan. Uh, he's a four seven guy in the short shuttle. He's got a basketball background, played primarily tight end early on in his career, but has honed in as a pass rusher. Only three sacks as a junior in 15 games. He's doubled that number here as a senior in just half the games, right? So he's figuring out, Steve, I think what stands out about this for the Gators is he's ideal for that 3-4 front. I think you can work him in a variety of different alignments, different shades. He's a guy that can get after the quarterback. And now he doesn't might not be the most polished guy at this stage, but I think as a situational rusher, he can come in. And, and Steve, what also really stands out about this, this is the first five-star defensive lineman for the Gators since Gervon Dexter in the 2020 cycle. He'd also be the first top three ranked prospect from the state of Florida to sign with the Gators since Dexter. Before that, the last five-star from Florida was Martez Ivy all the way back in 2015. So DJ Lagway, he might go down as the most important recruiting win for the Gators. I think LJ McCray is going to have just as much of an impact on that program. Florida knows they need to get better up front in the trenches. We really like what they had committed coming into today. I love what they have coming out of it. I mean, Nasir Johnson, Amaris Williams, Kendall Jackson, Jamonte Waller. Florida's front seven is getting better. LJ McCray only elevates the floor of that group and the ceiling. This 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 could be a special defensive line uh, unit at some point down the line. Yeah, Andrew, I wrote uh, DJ Lagway, the most pivotal recruiting win perhaps of any program in the country this recruiting cycle. I think LJ McCray is the number two most pivotal recruiting win by any program in the cycle uh, and so if you can, if you have elite quarterback play, if you can get after the quarterback, you can stop the run to your point there with all the guys that Florida is recruiting. I love the way that this class is coming together for Florida on the heels of a, a, a really exciting recruiting class last year, 11 true freshmen already playing for Florida. This is a class that I think even continues to raise the bar for, for them. And, and I love those linebackers from Graham to, to Hitman Hayes. To, to Childs. So uh, this is this is a team that has got a plan on the trail. They're executing it. And to go out there and land LJ McCray to beat Florida State, to beat Georgia, to beat Miami, to, to beat the programs that you, you're trying to contend with for a national championship is massive. You know, Steve, that's, that was my next point, right? Not only are you getting LJ McCray, but he's not going to Georgia and he's not going to be there in Athens. You're going to face them every year. And don't get it wrong. Kirby Smart and that staff absolutely loved LJ McCray and what he could potentially be. I had someone in Athens, somebody they thought he was the number one player in the country uh, as he creates pressure pretty much every snap here as a senior. Again, I think the best football is ahead for LJ McCray. And Billy Napier, this is a huge in-state win, right? Mike Norvell, he's got his, his a few, you know, battle battle stars and medals recently in some cycles in, in South Florida and different areas. We know what Mario Cristobal is doing uh, at, at Miami. You know, they went into IMG Academy last cycle. I just think the fact that Florida is able to get this guy and, you know, I've scouted the Sunshine State for, for 10 years now, right? We see some difference makers at IMG Academy, but LJ McCray is essentially like a Yeti. I mean, there are not people with his size, uh, burst, ability to bend that come through the I-4 corridor a lot. So the fact that Florida is locking him up and preventing him go from going to Georgia, Florida State, who you see every year, they got Miami on the schedule in the coming years. I mean, this is a massive one. We keep saying Billy Napier needs some time. Uh, if Kelby Collins is playing for Florida right now in 2023, I would think LJ McCray is going to be in the rotation in 2024.
Andrew, I had a chance to talk to mainland head coach Travis Rowland, who you know this morning. And obviously, outside of just saying that LJ is a future first rounder, which we all <laughs> agree with, he talked about the best trait that he has is his, him being humble, that that he never changed through the process. He's he's one of their team leaders. Uh, he talked about how hardworking he is, says he's a sponge for football. It's like everybody talks about him being a coach's kid, but the knowledge for the game, the love for it, uh, it it's just ingrained in him. It, it's part of his DNA. And then obviously from a skill set standpoint, he could develop into so many things from a defensive end and a four man front to a defensive end and a three man front. Uh, he could grow into a one or a zero. He could lose some weight and you could play him as an out, uh, as an outside rush end. You know, he's obviously been a difference maker catching the football and doing things on on offense for mainland. So uh, LJ McCray to Florida, about as exciting as it's going to get for a program this cycle. I, I would agree. And it, we'll see. You know, a lot of those defensive linemen we talked about, other schools are are sniffing around trying to get them on campus. Some of them are taking visits. So uh, it's a pivotal, you know, three months here for the Gators, keeping these guys in the boat. But I think, you know, just to put a bow on this whole thing, right, they got DJ Lagway on offense, monster recruiting win. Now they got LJ McCray on defense. I thought it was cool to hear LJ McCray talk about DJ. I mean, I, I don't even think those guys have crossed paths. We don't have the opening finals anymore. So uh, DJ is definitely doing some recruiting behind the scenes. And I think Florida, you know, these are guys that if we're playing it, the video game, they're going to have impact stars underneath them. They are difference makers. Well, moving forward, they hope to land Xavier Bam Mincy from the same high school. Micah Burrow is still out there for them. One time commit that's reopened the process, looking at some other programs that Florida's in there. They'll keep swinging it. Five-star receiver, our number one player in the country, Jeremiah Smith as well, Andrew. And there's some other players out there that they'll be aiming to try and, and, and flip here as uh, the early signing period fast approaches in December. But thank you for coming on, sharing your expertise on LJ McCray. Thanks for tuning in. For more coverage of LJ McCray's commitment to Florida, please visit Swamp247. That's www.florida.247sports.com. And I'm Steve Wiltfong. Thanks for tuning in.